Cooking for kids can be tough. Cooking healthy dishes that kids actually want to eat can seem nearly impossible. Here to share a few favorites from her new book, 100 Days of Real Food, Fast and Fabulous. Please welcome mom, blogger, and New York Times bestselling author, Lisa Leak to the stage. Thank welcome. You. Thank you for having me. Well, so tell us about the book. Well, so the book, I wrote it really for busy families who want to cut out processed food. They want to feel better about what they're feeding their children, but they don't feel like they have the time. So I developed the quickest and easiest real food recipes that still taste really good to make it possible And the key for there them. is, as we always say, <laughs> healthy food can taste good. Absolutely. You brought some dishes with secret ingredients, yes. starting with... Pancakes. Pancakes, okay. Yes. Am I allowed to give it a whirl? Yeah, you want to do that before you see the secret ingredients? Go right ahead. You like it? Who doesn't like pancakes? <laughs> I know. It's hard to go wrong with pancakes. Who doesn't like pancakes? <laughs> So the secret ingredients are oats and applesauce. So these are applesauce oatmeal pancakes. And if you combine the oats with the whole wheat flour, they're 100% whole grain. And the sweetness uh, from the applesauce makes it so you don't have to add any refined sugar. And they're so good. And what a great thing to send the kids off to school with because yes. that's going to give them sustained energy throughout yes. the morning. And you know, sometimes I even pack breakfast for lunch to literally send my kids off to school with. So these freeze beautifully. You can double the recipe while you're making it, and then I cut it into little strips in their lunchbox and put a little yogurt for dipping sauce, and they love it. Speaking of uh -huh. strips, <laughs> these are, are these nuggets. nuggets? These are nuggets. See what you think. Ready for the secret ingredient? Oh, good, good. <laughs> this one is a little more of a surprise. Cauliflower. So... Basically, it's whole wheat breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese and salt and pepper, and then you just put them in the oven. And I think this is a great way to give kids a good first impression of a new food. I don't think it's good to hide from them what it is, let them know even when they're done eating that they were eating cauliflower so they know it's not so scary, and maybe next time they'll have it roasted or in pasta and they'll have a good first impression.